When will my adrenal gland recover after taking prednisone? You might be wondering. It's a question I get all the time. I'm Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. And people want to know, okay, I've slowly stopped taking prednisone. I tapered off. When am I going to feel better? When is my adrenal gland going to finally recover and make cortisol on its own? And that is surprisingly an incredibly difficult question to answer. They have done very little research on this, and it's really hard to do research on it because everybody's taking prednisone for a different reason, for different lengths of time, for different doses, and it's really hard to figure out. Plus, it the tests for adrenal um, recovery and adrenal function are not perfect. They're just not the best tests in the world. And so there's no like, red light, green light. Oh, you have adrenal system that works or green red light. You don't, there's no great way to know. And so what we do have just isn't adequate. And so people want to know, all right, when is it going to come back? So I want to read to you the exact words from a scientific article, glucocorticoid induced adrenal insufficiency replace while we wait for evidence because we're still waiting for evidence. Nobody really knows the great answer here. And so this is what they said. A key issue is time to recovery of the HPA. That's the hypothalamic pituitary and adrenal axis. Those are the three parts of your body that help you figure out your cortisol. Following the discontinuation of glucocorticoid treatment, the percentage of patients with adrenal insufficiency following oral treatment. So the number of people who stop taking the prednisone pills, the percentage who have adrenal insufficiency declines over time, but remains up to 40, 40% at six months after stopping prednisone. Up to 40%. I read that and I was like, did you add an extra zero on them? Like I could see 4%, but 40 Like, oh my goodness, 40% of people six months out have adrenal insufficiency from taking prednisone. (laughs) I was stunned. Amazing. And and then, so when does it get better for those 40%? It says two years following cessation, there are 20%. So we went from 40% down to 20% at two years and then 5% at three years. So we're talking an up to three-year recovery time for your adrenal system to get back in line after taking prednisone. That is a long, long time. And I know I didn't feel great immediately after stopping prednisone. I had to take it for nine months and it took probably another nine months before I felt like myself again. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's awful. The other questions people have include what does like, what does it feel like if I haven't recovered? So there are two different things we're going to look for. First of all is what are the symptoms of low cortisol in our body? Okay. So that's low cortisol is the first one. The symptoms are fatigue, anorexia, nausea, low sodium, weight loss, myopathy, neuropsychiatric symptoms. So lots of anxiety. Um, And this can cause an adrenal crisis if untreated, and it can have severe gastrointestinal symptoms. Cardiovascular collapse, that means you like have a heart attack and die. Hypoglycemia, you have super low blood sugar, seizures, and eventually coma. So that's what an adrenal crisis is. Little evidence is available to clarify whether the course of glucocorticoid-induced adrenal insufficiency differs from this clinical picture. So it's hard to tell if that is just um, like an infection, like those symptoms, like fatigue, anorexia, like you're not hungry, you're tired, nausea. It sounds like you're just sick, right? That doesn't necessarily sound like it's something very specific. It's hard to tell if that's what you're going through. Another tricky thing that's hard to figure out is number two, withdrawal symptoms. So withdrawal symptoms, these are what they called the withdrawal symptoms, they said, um, it's again, unspecific this time, 
such as anorexia and weight loss, nausea and vomiting, headache and lethargy, fever, myalgia, and arthralgia. So what is lethargy, myalgia, and arthralgia? So lethargy is just feeling completely exhausted, just feeling like you've got to stay on the couch. Myalgia is muscle pain and arthralgia is joint pain. So lots of pain involved. The skin can peel and um, you can feel really dizzy, especially like when standing up. It's called postural hypotension. And, and so how are those different? Like how was number one different than number two? They're super similar and it's really hard to tell the difference. One is low cortisol and other ones withdrawal. So how, how do you tell the difference? It's super tricky. And there's no test that's like, hey, let's find out if you're in withdrawal. There's no way to figure that out. No great test. And so if you're feeling this way, tell your doctor. <laughs> they need to give you help. And it's really hard to go through because you're like, do I just have an infection or not? And you need to tell your doctor because it can be fatal. Like eventually coma and death is, is the result of adrenal crisis. And it, finally, you might be wondering, well, am I at risk for this? And they said all kinds of steroids, whether it's cream, an inhaler, an eye drop, or the pill or the IV, any kind can cause adrenal insufficiency. But the most likely to cause it are the pill and the injection into joints. It's called intraarticular. Those are the most likely to cause, <laughs> excuse me, adrenal insufficiency, and then longer term and then higher doses are also more likely to cause it. So I had all of that going. I had oral and high doses and long term. And, but the thing is, there is no way of giving a steroid that is without risk. Your doctor might be like, well, you're using the inhaler. There's no risk. Actually, that's not true. People can get adrenal insufficiency from the inhaler or even the eye drop or the nasal spray. It's stunning, but true. So get help. Um, if you need to go to the emergency room, like this is an emergency. This is justifiable to go to the emergency room if you're really struggling. So I am Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. And if you are not at the extreme phase. You can get an appointment with an endocrinologist, see if you still need to continue replacement therapy. And then if you are just struggling, but not like completely struggling, just not quite yourself again. What I did is I invented Neutronize Zone and it is designed to reduce your suffering by replenishing the nutrients that prednisone steals so that you can recover from taking prednisone. It's here to support you in your journey, your entire prednisone journey, from being at, at the high doses and at the very beginning to tapering down to even being off prednisone. It still helps to support you, to help you in that recovery phase, because as it says, 40% of people at six months are still adrenal insufficient. So you can just go to Neutronize.com, N-U-T-R-A-N-I-Z-E, and get Neutronize today. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.